so the idea of LID, it, it stands for low impact development, meaning that you are implementing green strategies, green infrastructure into the built environment to attempt to mitigate and or minimize impacts. If we start here with, with the green roof, obviously the, the objective here is for the soil to act as a sponge to absorb a certain amount of the water so that the rate of runoff is greatly reduced. Same sort of thing happens down on the ground. You can do this with recessed areas, detention ponds. Uh, there are several buildings on the Rice campus that are going to be built with, with that uh, LID in mind. We also have swales and swale drainage and porous pavement and there are just a variety of techniques that can be used. We had one acre of concrete, actually more than an acre of concrete, and a traditional system, it's the way buildings have been done here historically for a long time, provides for a lot of parking, but does it in a way that, that uh, does not do anything for stormwater quality or for reducing the quantity of stormwater. Well, what you're seeing is a conveyance channel or just a, a drainage channel that's in the parking lot. It's designed for conveying water from the building and the parking surfaces to the outlet point of the parking lot. And it replaced what was a 100% concrete parking lot. Development techniques are designed to do a couple of things. Number one is to reduce the stormwater volume, the volume of water that comes off of our, of our built environment, if you will. The second thing it's supposed to do is clean the stormwater. One of the ways we clean the stormwater is with these plants that you see. These are mostly native Texas plants. They're designed to uh, provide uh, ways for the water to be cleansed by natural processes. And at the end of this channel, there's an engineered fill system that allows for filtering the stormwater that comes off these parking lots and roofs. So most of the water that leaves this site on an annual basis has been cleansed by biological processes, delivering cleaner water and less of it to our, our surrounding streams. While it is a little bit more expensive to add in some lid features, the relative cost is really, I think, from an economic standpoint, pretty affordable. Some rain gardens and some grassed areas and some storage areas on site. We've been doing this for years in the county just at a larger scale, and now we're starting to do this more with the individual commercial developments, and we're trying to plan and implement something maybe even across the Rice campus.